Are you an active couch potato? Stay tuned and I'll show you a, a simple way for you to just keep moving during the day. Hi, I'm Sherpa Herb. I'm an online coach exclusively for runners over 50 years old and I'm the founder of the Forever Runner Method. So in this video, we're entering the, the third key of the Forever Runner Method. The first two keys, uh, the, the first one was burn, where uh, I went through the three steps to convert you from a sugar craver into a fat burning beast. So the, the second phase or key um, is what I call build, and that's building your aerobic capacity through low heart rate training. And then now we're moving into the third key, which is move. And specifically, this step uh, will be step number seven, which is called move. So um, if, if you miss the others, um, uh, I'll, I'll put a, uh, a, a link up above uh, to the playlist so, so you can catch the rest of those. Um, but let's, let's go ahead and, and get started on this. So you may be familiar with the term, uh, sitting is the new smoking. And um, if, if you're a runner, uh, that's, that can be really true. So if, if you're the type of person who um, spends a lot of time commuting in your car to work, and then you're at work, uh, you're, you're in a cubicle all day, and then you're commuting back, back to work, um, or back home from work, then uh, you have dinner and then you collapse on the couch and watch TV all night. Um, unfortunately, that's very typical to a, a large portion of the population. Now you, as a runner, uh, you actually either first thing in the morning or at noon or after work, you're, you're, you're gonna get, you're gonna get that run in, you know, that, that 30, 45 minute run during the week uh, in, in, in between all that. And um, let's, let's say you come home from work and you, you get out there, bang out your 30, 40 minute workout, and then you reward yourself with a meal and then couch time afterwards. Well, unfortunately, um, this has been studied. And uh, as, essentially, if you spend most of your day uh, seated or, or immobile, that 30 or 45 minute workout that you do that day really doesn't gain you anything. It, it just basically gets canceled out. So you're, you're, you're just not, you're not accomplishing anything. And that's the definition of an active couch potato. Uh, in your mind, you're active. Yeah, I'm a runner, right? You know, I, I run every day after work. Um, but the reality is you're a couch potato because uh, driving to work, at work, driving home from work, after your run, you're, you're, you're not moving. So there, there's, really, there's really a simple fix to all this. Um, and it's, and it's just, it's just uh, creating a new habit. And if you're, um, if, if, if you're, if you have a long drive uh, to work and back every day, you know, you, you, you're pretty stuck there. But, uh, but the big thing is, is uh, you know, getting out of that car, uh, you wanna take every opportunity to walk it off uh, as, as far as your uh, commute goes. So when you show up to work, if you normally take the elevator, go up the stairs, um, uh, do, do a, have a little quick before work walk, um, uh, before you sit down at your desk. So just, just that, just breaking things up a little bit 
so that you're not immediately going from sitting in the car a long time to sitting at a desk a long time. Then at, then at work, um, you, you, you have a couple options. So uh, first of all, if you're stuck in QB land in the, in the normal desk uh, uh, situation, then it's, it's really as simply as every, every 20 minutes uh, changing your position by standing up and doing something. And this is a, this is a great time to uh, put in what we call micro workouts where uh, you, you might stand up and, and just throw in a couple lunges, throw in a couple squats, uh, throw in a couple burpees, uh, um, have a quick walk to the water cooler and back, uh, just, just something. But, but like every 20 minutes, um, you, you should be doing something like this. And that, that actually does a couple things. First, first of all, it, uh, it, it keeps your posterior chain, chain from seizing up uh, because that, that's what happens. There, everything gets tighter and shorter by, um, by sitting in a position for such a long time. And for us runners, you probably well know it's very important to keep those hip flexors supple and flexible because uh, that's, that's where you get your smooth, efficient stride. So you want to baby those hip flexors during the day, and, and that's how you do it. Now, I'm in a, um, I'm finally getting around to writing up the Forever, me Forever Runner method in, in an actual uh, book. Uh, it'll, it'll be more like a guide, not, you know, some big thick book. But um, so I'm in a, I'm in a writing class uh, to help me get motivated to get this done. And my writing class instructor, every 20 minutes, it's, you know, take a break, um, stand up if you're sitting down and, you know, do some burpees, do, you know, you know, do the same thing. So um, we're actually doing that in my writing class that I'm taking right now. But um, another thing you can do, uh, a lot of offices these days uh, have the opportunity to, uh, you can have an adjustable desk or a standing desk. Um, that's why I'm talking to you now from that at my home, I've got a little extension on my desk so I can uh, convert to a standing desk. So even with a standing desk, you have some options. So um, uh, what, what I like to do is um, change positions every now and then. So uh, sometimes I'll raise or lower the standing, standing desk. Um, uh, you can do that every 20 minutes or, or just remain standing. Uh, but, but the nice thing at a standing desk is uh, you can move around, you can, you can do some squats, you can do single leg, leg lunges. Um, so you, you've got, uh, you got a little more flexibility. Uh, if, you, uh, if you want, you can, you can add an uneven surface uh, down below your desk to to give your feet a little massage or or change of direction as you're standing or working and if you're uh, really motivated uh, you, you can you can add a treadmill uh, have a treadmill desk but um, want to to make things uh, easy for you and to create a good habit uh, we want to keep it simple. So uh, roll it, rolling back to what I said before, if you're in the situation where you have extended periods of sitting uh, as, as part of your work or whatever, just get in the habit, uh, set up in a little alarm, uh, either a little alarm clock or alarm on your computer or watch every 20 minutes to, to do something different to get out of that position. And you'll make a, 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 you'll, you'll make a big difference in your ability to stay uh, uh, mobile, 
and flexible, especially with those hip flexors that are so important to our running. So, so that's it for, this is actually step seven um, from the forever runner method. Uh, next, next up will be step eight, where we'll go into uh, mobility. And this, this will be um, uh, what, what, to, what you need to work on as your daily maintenance uh, to keep your mobility up. So uh, if, if you're liking this series, uh, please uh, subscribe, hit, hit the bell so you're notified when these come up again. And I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I have a link to the series. So if, if you missed the earlier ones, you can go through. So thanks so much. Move every 20 minutes. See you.